Good morning. Had a few minutes and wanted to do a quick how-to video for our Tangy Tuesday Digicross puzzle. So this is the first puzzle in your packets usually, and you can see uh, that it looks like a crossword because that's really what we what it is and what we're looking at here. And we're going to complete this crossword by filling in a word that fits each clue. So if I zoom in, you can see. Let's just start with number one. And one down says three times 90 is the same as three times blank tens. So for questions like this, what I always ask students to do is take a look at what's the same and what's missing. So in this case, we'd say three times is the same on each of these, which means that 90 is the same as blank tens. And notice that I'm using the language the same as because this is an equal sign. But really, we want to get kids used to saying that sign isn't just an equals. We're not just looking for the answer on the other side. What that really means is the same as. So one side is the same as the other. In this case, we'd say three groups of 90. Again, that multiplication sign we like to clarify as groups of 90 is the same as three groups of blank tens. And then we can know that 90 is the same as nine tens. And once we've got that, we're going to zoom back out. We know that's one down. And so I'm going to come up here and I'm going to find one down and it's right here. And so then we're going to put in nine as in nine tens. Once we've done that, I like to help kids know one of the best things you can do is put a little mark through your one. That way you're being organized and you know, hey, that one's done, okay? Something that always confuses kids and is <laughs> something just tricky to wrap your head around if you haven't done crossword puzzles in a while is that you have multiple numbers in some cases. So in this case, you have a two down and you have a two across, okay? That's because if we scroll up here, when you look at two, you've got a two across going this way and we have a two down going this way. So just remember that as your students are doing that, you can help point out to them, hey, this is a two down whereas this other one is a two across, all right? We'll do a couple more of these real quick just so you can get the hang of it, and I think you'll know what we're doing here. So number two across says seven groups of six is the same as, remember this is an equal sign, but it means the same as, and that's one of the best tips you can have for helping to solve this. So seven groups of six is the same as how many groups of seven, okay? For parents at home, you probably are used to seeing this written more like this. Seven groups of six is the same as blank groups of seven. Oops, my mistake there. But we want your kids to get used to seeing these things in a couple of different ways, and we want them to think of that multiplication symbol as groups of, which is why it's written this way. And you can work this out with your student if they're uh, not sure. We have uh, some manipulatives, uh, apps that I will walk through at another date, uh, but if your student has been in class with me, they've learned how to use those, and that's a great tool to figure out, well, if I have seven groups of six, if I rearrange that into six groups of seven, it's the same, okay? So we're gonna put a six in there, and we're gonna come up, that's two across, and we're gonna write in S-I-X for six across. We're gonna Put a little mark through that too, and we can keep going. Number two, 65 is closest to blank tens. We're looking for rounding here. You're trying to figure out which it's closer to. Uh, astute students, uh, when they put that on a number line, will notice, well, it's not actually closer to either, and so you just have to remind them, well, you're right. It's right smack in the middle between 60 and 70, or six tens and seven tens, but since it's a 65, we're gonna round up or we're gonna to lean towards that larger 10, in this case, 70 or seven tens. And then we can come up here and we can write in seven S-E-V-E-N. 
and we're on our way to completing this crossword puzzle. Remember to mark out that too, and we're chugging right along. Please do uh, make sure to have students write out the answers down below, and you can use anywhere on this page to show your work or scrap paper, and that's really what we're wanting the kids to do is thinking through these and seeing just a different way to see them. As I look through, I notice one thing uh, that you might notice, or two problems rather that I want to address real quick. Number five, right here. We've got 40 minutes plus 35 minutes, and they're converting that into an hour and how many minutes. So uh, however you want to do that, but I just wanted to point out the colons there and that those are referring to minutes. And then on number three here, three down, this might look unusual to some people. So I'm going to show you that one real quick. It says 133 plus 241 is the same as 300 plus blank plus four. Okay, so what we're doing here is your uh, students are being trained to see this as ones, tens, and hundreds, okay? So if we were to highlight each of these, here's our ones, then we have our tens, and then we have our, let me grab a different color, hundreds. And so we have our hundreds, our tens, whoops, our tens, and our ones. So you can see three ones plus one one is four ones. 100 plus 200 is three hundreds. And so we're gonna look at those three tens plus four tens. We're gonna add those together. Three tens plus four tens which we can explain to kids is the same as 30 plus 40, and we know that's 70. And so our answer is 70. So if that looks a little bit different than what you're used to with a traditional uh, addition problem, that's how you do that one. I think that has the main parts. Uh, you'll see another one of those ones, tens, hundreds problems down on number seven. And as far as the groups, four groups with five in each, or eight divided into two equal groups. You can have students draw those out, or actually use counters um, and just physically manipulate them, and that's the best way to do it. This went a little bit longer, but I hope I clarified any questions that you might have about the DigiCross, and that this helps you out.